Hello everyone, this is Toad Wonderly, and welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium 2. I am so relieved that I am past Team Rocket, I will go ahead and tell you that. That is, without a doubt, the toughest set of battles that you'll probably have here in Johto Gym Lear Castle, in my own opinion. But that's just me. Others might think the later battles are going to give you a challenge, and they definitely will. I'm not going to go ahead and lie, but... Team Rocket clear. That's all that matters right now. <laughs> But now it's time to take on the Mahogany Gym with Gym Leader Price and his two cronies, Border Alvin and Skier Carol. So let's go ahead and get started with this set of battles. As usual, I will go ahead and provide the rentals that Nintendo Power recommends. Uh, this time they say to use a Scissor, Hitmonlee, Magmar, Electabuzz, Sandslash, and a Gyarados. And a very good choice of Pokemon, I have to say. Um, a lot of these trainers are going to use the ice type, um, especially the gym leader, uh, Price. And you could probably figure that out just by his name, Price, so it's kind of like a play on the type that he uses the most. But uh, kind of like the previous gym leaders, because it's Pokemon Stadium too, uh, they have some other types that they keep up their sleeves too. That's why Nintendo Power has suggestions for other Pokemon. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pick my own registered set of Pokémon with hand-picked items from the Silver game. I have a Moltres with a Charcoal, Skarmory with Leftovers, Lantern with Magnet, Hitmonlee with Miracle Berry, Houndor with a Scope Lens, and Omastar with a Hard Stone. Let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, my team uh, is pretty different from what they... Uh, uh, suggested in Nintendo Power, but, uh, well, the Hitmonlee was on her suggestions, too, but it's basically the same general types that they suggested. Um, Moltres is probably my most interesting one, just because, um, a lot of, uh, Pokemon here are Ice-type, and even though it's Fire, it's also Flying, so it's kind of counterproductive, but there's some Pokemon that will face that are the Ground-type, too, so we gotta watch out for that. That's partially why I picked Moltres. Okay, for this battle, um, you definitely want to have uh, Lantern. And since there's a couple Ice Pokemon, Moltres is good to have as well. And there's also a chance that you'll run into some of the... Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, I actually lost what I was saying. I have Lantern, Moltres, and Hitmonlee should be good, too. I'll go ahead and pick those three. And check it out. Pretty chilly place. This one's pretty... Well, all of them are really unique, for that matter. I've been uh, stating that with how all these gems look so different. This is just, like, pure Snow White. And I don't mean the movie, but... Good movie, by the way, but I'm just saying... It's all a Snow White look to it. And we have Smoochum. Um, should I switch? I suppose so. I'll go ahead and get Moltres out. Combat and face each other. Oh, when a and that's Pokemon. mainly why I had Moltres to begin with. To face Pokemon like this. I honestly didn't think I'd be facing an Ice Pokemon oh, first. Because he had uh, a lot of Water Pokemon. That's partially why I picked Lantern, is because since uh, some of his Pokemon are with a water type, Electric is good to use against them. Okay, let's go ahead and use Fire Blast. Critical hit, too. Pretty cool. I don't know that that was actually necessary, though, from a Moltres, especially against Smoochum. But. Nice to see that luck comes in the play here. It's a pretty good start, though. I am at a disadvantage, though. I don't have any ground Pokemon on my team this time. Uh, I should be able to get around that okay, though, I think. Um... I better switch here back to Lantern, just because, uh... Well, here's what the deal is. Um... The Shouter's only water move that I'm aware of is Whirlpool. 
which okay, doesn't do that much, but cross. it means that I'm stuck in the battle with it if I used uh, no, the move Moltres. Oh, but it used a Nor. That's weird. Well, I'm just going to use Spark, nonetheless. Oh, but they're switching. The totally uncool, dude. We didn't say dude, but... I imagine, like... Snowboarders to talk like that, especially. Well, there he's like, chill, man. And sure enough, he had a swine up. Should have seen that coming. It is park ground, though, so I'll just use Hydro Pump. And I'm not aware that this thing has any ground moves, so. Yeah. It's not a threat to me. It did use Endure, though. One Pokemon is Hop, skip, and a jump away, I'll just use Flail. I don't care that I'm at full HP, oh, it only has man. one HP, so... I just need something oh, that was able to hit it. <laughs> when Hydro Pump's accuracy is 80%, yeah. Pokemon don't waste a powerful move when the, your opponent only has one HP. Especially when there's a chance of coming this. And we're back to Shelter. One spark coming up. You might remember me telling you before about uh, Shelter and Cloister's poor special defense. But they got high defense. That's their uh, trade off. I'll just use another spark. Or f I could use Flail, but it don't matter. And yeah, I guess I should have said sooner, but um. It's not all of them, but a few of them on his team no indoor. As a matter of fact, I think only three of them know it. Besides the, um, uh, Shouter, I think, uh, Swine Up and the other one would have been Seal. I think all the rest just had standard moves. I'm very surprised that he didn't pick, uh, Kingler or Flaffy. He usually does whenever I battle him. But, we took care of him pretty easily he's thinking about becoming a swimmer instead. After this loss. <laughs> ah, whatever. He's just... He's just a crony. As well as this next one here, the skier. Lots of trainers take their Pokemon to the ski slopes. What ski slopes? Like, unless they count the ice path. <laughs> I... And I know I talked about this before, but I think it is called the Ice Path. I really should have looked that up. But it's not a big deal, I guess. But anyway. And we have more water Pokemon, and Adela Bird is on her team, so it's safe to start with Lantern again. Uh, here you also want to use... Um, uh, Om Omastar. Just because of the defense capabilities it possesses. And, as for a third choice, uh, I guess Skarmory's alright. That seems to be the best bet here. I don't have any Pokemon with Ice moves, so if they use Dratini, I'll just have to tough it out. So yeah, I'll just stick with Skarmory. Unlike the others, her only Ice Pokemon's Delibird, and uh, Lantern can take care of that easily with Spark, so that's nothing to worry about too much. And to keep up with the trend, this Delibird does have its uh, signature move present. I don't know if we'll be facing it or not, but it does know present. But no, it's Quillfish. And uh, I should mention, all of her Pokémon know Icy Wind. And she got lucky with a critical hit. Not that it really mattered. But my speed has been lowered. That's the thing with uh, Icy Wind. It'll always lower your speed when you're hit by it. That thing had a berry. Well, another spark. Oh, well thanks for saying sparks, Teddy, but I just said the same word as you. <laughs> he meant sparks of the competition. Now. And what did it just do? Was that headbutt? It was. Oh, I bet you are, sorry. Are you serious? You're not gonna take it out, are you? Okay, good. Okay, that quillfish had me on edge for a second. <laughs> Get it? Pins and needles, needles and pins. 
A man that... A man that... What is that saying? I'm trying to think of what that saying is. It's pins and needles. Needles and pins. I, I can't remember the full saying, but anyway. Well, we have Dratini. My moves Hydro Pump and Spark are not going to be that good against it. But my HP is down pretty low, so Flail is a good option. And it uses Icy Wind again. Must have been insecure with my speed. Uh, the Dratini does know Dragon Rage and Headbutt as well. And that's something else I forgot to mention. I did say about Icy Wind, but uh, they also know Headbutt too. Uh, so watch out for that. That's a trend with her, I guess you could say. And hopefully I don't flinch from that. Oh good, good. Flail's gonna do a super amount of power now. Oh, but still not enough to take it out. Well, I don't think switching is gonna really do much. I'll just pick a random move. Oh, it uses Dragon Rage. <laughs> That's sure to take me out. If I would have switched, I would have taken damage, so... No big loss, really. And Lantern did good. Okay. I guess it really don't matter. I guess Skarmory is good to pull out. The Elmastar it would be good for uh, the Delibird, but since I have a Skarmory as well, Skarmory is good. Uh, I will go ahead and say though, uh, rock moves against Delibird are devastating because it's ice and flying, and a rock move against it is pretty powerful. We'll find out what her last Pokemon is. It probably, I'm gonna say it is probably Delibird, but that's just a guess. Yep, I called it. So yeah, Steel Wing coming up. Oh yeah, watch out, Delibird's fast. As I mentioned before, I think in a previous video. It's probably gonna stick with Icy Wind, actually, considering that it does more damage. Uh, Headbutt against Skarmory would be futile, because Skarmory's defense is super high. But they're going that way anyway, so... Don't bother talking to them about it. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Of all the turns for that to happen. <laughs> but 90% accuracy. Okay, I knew it was uh, something like that. It was either 90 or 85, I couldn't remember. 90 accuracy, though. And Steel Wing had to miss that turn. Yes, that worked just perfectly. So yeah, Skarmory's good to use for these battles, just because of its high defense. So thanks for getting in the spotlight yet again, you did good, Skarmory. As did Lantern, and we didn't get to see Elmastar, but that was mainly for backup. He took out her pretty easily. No matter how much I fall, I just keep bouncing back for more. Really, I never would have guessed. Well, that was simple enough. Okay, it's now time to take on Gym Leader Price. The Rigers of Youth are certain to improve your character. Oh, giving us the cold shoulder, I see. <laughs> get it? Cold shoulder. Okay, he is almost always going to have that pile of swine on his team. I can already tell you that. It's... If you haven't noticed the trend, it's whatever's in spot number one on their six different blocks for the Pokemon that they have. But uh, for this fight, you're almost always uh, guaranteed to be okay with leading with Hitmonlee. Even if it's Jinx, Hitmonlee is the way to start here. And Lantern and Skarmory should be okay for backup to take care of the rest of the team. But yeah, just about all of these team members, that, or of his team members, I should say, can be uh, handled with Hitmonlee just fine. And, oh, he leads with Ursaring. That's good. Now, uh, since Ursaring has so much HP, I'm pretty sure you'll need to uh, increase attack, so that's why I'm going to use Meditate. 
As a matter of fact, Nintendo Power even uh, says in the guidebook to do the same method. Start with Meditate first before attacking. Now, you do want to be careful um, with Ursa Ring, though, because it does no thrash. And yeah, that takes away quite a bit of HP. Almost knocked me out, actually. What Hitmonlee possesses in high attack, it lacks in defense, unfortunately. Although its special defense is good. Don't want to disregard that. That's it! Magnificent! Oh, he's impressed with us already. That's good, though. Uh, Ursaring, I'm glad we took out um, pretty quickly. No, it's Dugong. Oh, let's see if I can get another uh, high jump kick in. Because Dugong is part ice, addition to water. Oh, good, good. This is working good. Very good, actually. Dugong's done. This is going great. <laughs> So, that only leaves one Pokémon left, and I can pretty much tell you it probably is the Piloswine. Now, um, a funny story with this, uh, well, not his Piloswine, but Piloswine in general. I actually used to call it Piloswine as a kid. I don't know why, but, uh, whenever I seen it when I was younger, I, I thought it always looked like a pillow, so that's why I always called it Piloswine, and whoa! Did that really just happen? <laughs> that was great! I don't know what you guys thought of that, but that was, like, probably one of the best gym leader matches I ever had on this game. Way to go, Hitmonlee! You did excellent! So yeah, I guess meditate and high jump kick, and then you're on your way to victory. Yes, I think that you have the potential to climb even higher. Thanks for the compliment. Mahogany gym battle clear! <laughs> I gotta say, that was actually pretty effortless. Hitmonlee handled that pretty well. So yeah, I didn't even have to use my other two Pokemon for that at all. <laughs> I'm just a little uh, stunned over that victory. I mean, sure, I, I know I was picking the right Pokemon to begin with, but still, I, I really wasn't expecting to feed them all with Hitmonlee easily. Wow. Anyway, guys, uh, that was it for Mahogany Gym. Next time... We're at the last gym leader of Johto Gym Leader Castle, at the Blackthorn Gym, Claire, the Master of Dragon Pokemon. That will be for next time, though. Um, I actually am going to continue recording here, but until then, this is Tobe Wonderland, and I'll be back with more of Pokemon Stadium 2. See you guys later.